welcome, welcome to another episode of The Family Couch. Here I've got my good friend Anna and my good friend Lola, and we are here to do today's Sabbath school together. So, to get started, we're going to fold our hands and we're going to close our eyes and we're going to pray to Jesus. You guys want to pray with me? Well, I'm going to pray, but you guys can, can pray in your minds, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you that we get to be here. Thank you that we get to learn about you and we get to connect and be everything you need us to be. We love you so much. In your name, amen. So for today's lesson, we are talking about something called biblical accountability, which is such a big word, right? Biblical accountability. It sounds so serious, but really what it is is that, the, that God wants us to be responsible for what we do. He wants us to be nice and kind and not hit or pinch or any of the naughty things that can be so easily done. <laughs> There's this story in the Bible in Joshua 22 and you can go through and read it. It is a very long story with lots of details and I encourage you to spend time with your family reading them. But the basis of it is that, so all the Israelites were split up into 12 tribes. And Joshua, he calls two and a half of the tribes forward, right? Or to him. Joshua calls Reuben, Gad, and half of Manasseh. If I'm, getting, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. It's the best that I can do. But he tells them, we know your tribes have been blessed by God because you obey and trust him. So go home and continue to go forward. So these two and a half tribes, they go, oh, we need to make a reminder that we love God and a reminder to our de descendants <laughs> to always follow and trust God. So what they do is they build an altar to God. The other tribes, the other tribes say, what are you doing? You're building an altar. Oh no. And they go, no, we're not building an altar to other gods. We're building an altar to our God to help for generations to remember to love and trust God. And that is so cool. So come with us now as we head outside to do a game. And then we're going to do a craft. And we're going to build altars of our own. And then we'll be right back here. Welcome to outside. Welcome to game time. I hope you guys are having so much fun doing games with us. Because we are so enjoying doing games with you guys. Huh? We like doing games. They're so much fun. Today, we are learning all about what it means to be accountable. Do you know what it means to be accountable? <laughs> what that means is that those that are around us, they expect things out of us. So like if our mommy and daddy say, hey, you need to go clean your room. Instead of being like, oh, I don't have to listen to them. We do, we go clean our room. But sometimes it also means learning to trust in others and asking for help when we need it. So today, we're gonna do a really fun game that teaches us how to ask for help and how to use help. So, Micah, I have a task for you, okay? Here's this pipe cleaner, and I got some Cheerios. I'm gonna put them here. I want you to put three Cheerios on that pipe cleaner. Oh, 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 wait, 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 I forgot a step. So see this hand right here? This hand has to go all the way back here into your back pocket and you can't use it. So you have to put three pipe cleaners, three Cheerios on that pipe cleaner all by yourself. They're lying. What? They're lying. Do, put them on. Can you do it? Can you do it on your own? Yeah. You think you can? Or do you maybe, uh, uh, uh. Nope. That hand goes right back here. You can't use it. You can only use one hand. Do you think maybe you should ask me for help? <laughs> Okay, so you got the three Cheerios on it. So now I want you to do it this way. Here, here's your Cheerio, here's your pipe cleaner. Here's the Cheerios. And I'm gonna take this table away. Okay, now, can you put these three Cheerios on there? Put your hand in your back pocket. Can you do it without a table? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know actually. 
Do you maybe need some help? <laughs> you need some help? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, so see, here. You hold up the Cheerio. Hold up the Cheerio. And then if I only use one hand, because if you're only using one hand, I can only use one hand, right? I mean, I'll hold the Cheerios out here, but... Mostly because it's so windy. If I don't hold the Cheerios, they'll fly away. See, how much easier is it when you ask for help? It's like so easy, right? Because when we have people we can rely on, they are so helpful to us. So, <laughs> let's head inside now and do some crafting. You wanna go craft? Hey, hey, welcome, welcome to our crafting corner. We've got Lola, we've got Anna. We're gonna be doing some fun crafts. Well, sort of a craft today. It's a little bit different, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. You wanna do it? Yeah. You wanna do it? Okay, girls, let's put our crafting crowns on. I will help me. I can help you. Here we go. Right here, just like this. Oh, do you need help with yours or you no. got it? Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, so for today, we're talking all about being loyal to God. And, you know, in our story, we talked about the tribes and how they built an altar so that future generations would remember that they are loyal to God. So I thought for today, we do some rock stacking. Have you guys ever done rock stacking? Yes. Yes? I don't know if you've done rock stacking like this. Have you guys ever gone out and you've been out for a walk, maybe a nice Sabbath afternoon walk, and you see those rocks all stacked up and just balancing on each other? No. No? Oh, I think it is some of the coolest things. You guys should totally see if you can go find some. So I thought I would let you guys practice it here so that maybe next time we go for a walk, we can practice it outside. So you start by getting a big rock. One here. I'm going to stand up. Put it right here. Now, put this rock on top of that rock. Stack them. Okay, now put this rock and this rock on top of those. Oh, so see, like that. And then one more for each of you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe if we flip yours and go like this. Come on. I think we gotta put this one. I did mine. You did yours, good job. You just have to fix it and hold it like this so it doesn't drop. Mm-hmm. So maybe if we go like that. Go like this. And then like this. <gasps> Oh, so close. We'll keep working on it. Anna's, yours is great. You did a good job. <laughs> Why don't we head back to the couch for closing prayer? You want to go? You want to go? Okay, you guys have a great day. Meet us over at the couch. Welcome back to the couch. I hope you guys had so much fun doing a craft and a game and all the other fun stuff. I hope you guys follow through and uh, take a look at the family discussion questions. Right now, we're just gonna say a quick little prayer and then skedaddle. So, you guys wanna fold hands? Or you just wanna hold each other? Are you holding each other? Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you that we got to come here today. Thank you that we got to learn about you and be with us as we be accountable to you in the way that we live our lives. We love you so much in your name, amen. Girls say amen. 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 Now say goodbye. Bye. Bye.